think it's a great shame, you know, you've got a game that's invented in Scotland. I think we obviously experienced it in Murrayfield, but for me, you know, putting seven, eight thousand people into Murrayfield's not got that atmosphere. I think we kind of then struggled, you know, potentially at Scotland, but I think, you know, it then sells itself. You know, I think if you're bringing the world's best players to Melrose and you put eight, nine, ten thousand people in here, you get a great buzz. And I think, you know, people would travel um, because they'd want to come here with being home of sevens. And I think it's got, you know, I don't think you really need to sell that. Um, now, how we do it or how we achieve it, I'm not really sure. But, I mean, for me, it's obviously a great shame since Scotland's lost a leg on the series. I think, you know, I think it's a no-brainer for me. For many, it was good to see some kind of normality return after the two-year absence. It was time for the dust to settle and thoughts to be gathered by tournament director Phil Morris when I met up with him a few days later at a far quieter green yards to get his assessment of the weekend's events. Overall, I think the big thing is it, it, it got the Melrose Sevens back on the map after a three-year hiatus and, you know, has got us a platform to build on going, going into 2023.